Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're covering a new card within Yu-Gi-Oh Rush Jewels and it's called Last Day of the Pretty Witch. It's a normal spell card with a requirement. If there's a face-up monster at level 8 or higher aquatype on your field, you can send one monster that must be an aquatype from your hand to the graveyard. The effect is, choose one face-up monster, it must be a level 8 or lower, on your opponent's field and destroy it. If you destroy the monster and it must be a spell caster type with this effect, you can destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. So potentially this card actually becomes like a Raigeki if you can make sure that your opponent's monster is a spellcaster type. There are different ways of doing this, most commonly known as DNA surgery, where you could potentially change all of your opponent's monsters and your monsters to spellcasters to ensure this effect gets its maximum abilities. The condition and restriction on this are you do need to get rid of a archetype monster and you do need to have a level 8 or higher archetype monster on your field. There are a couple of examples of that. I think there's a Dying Keto card which matches this description. From the judgment on this card, it does seem to be supporting Roman's cards, or if you prefer, in Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s in the TCG, she's known as Mimi. She's the female lead. It's conditional, but it's an okay effect depending on how many cards you can target of your opponents. If you can get rid of three cards, then that's the maximum potential. If you only get rid of one card, it might be enough to then put you in a position where you can actually defeat your opponent within that turn. But it's also quite restrictive in that it can only be run within that style of deck. What do you guys think of this card? Is this something you consider running? Do you think it's very specific to Mimi's type deck? And can you give me any examples of any other styles of deck that can pair alongside this card? Whatever you think, put those in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh content.